weeks. But his plan would evade federal budget limits by stashing nearly a quarter of that money in an off-the-books account, and both Democrats and Republicans say it won't fly in Congress. The White House is expected to stuff as much as $174 billion of its $750 billion request for national defense for the coming fiscal year into a special war fund, allowing the administration to maintain its long-sought military buildup without violating a 2011 law aimed at reigning in the deficit. The gimmick is especially striking given that Trump budget chief Mick Mulvaney once for to limit the very same war account, known as the Overseas Contingency Operations Fund. Lawmakers in both parties object to relying so heavily on what budget hawks have long derided as a Pentagon slush fund. Unless both parties can negotiate a deal to lift the spending caps, it could mean a quick demise for the military's ambitious investment plans, which got a two-year boost last year under a bipartisan deal that raised spending for the military as well as other government agencies. It's definitely a non-starter, House Budget Chairman John Yarmuth, D. Kentucky, told Politico. It would be an insult to the process to do that. It's ridiculous if that's what they do, added Rep. Mac Thornberry of Texas, the top Republican on the House Armed Services Committee, 